Good afternoon, I'm Midshipman Second Class Ryan Pinch. I'm the Midshipman Skipper of our brand new donated Swan 56 Apollo. And we're here with the leadership of the Naval Academy Sailing Program and some members of the Naval Academy class in 1952, including astronauts Captain Jim Lovell and Lieutenant General Tom Stafford. And we're just here to christen this beautiful boat that we've been donated. Welcome to the Robert Crown Sailing Center. Uh, I would like to especially welcome a few people. Vice Admiral Ted Carter, he's 62nd Superintendent of the Naval Academy. Um, members of our esteemed FAILS Committee and the Board of Directors for the Naval Academy Sailing Foundation, Captain Retired James A. Lovell Jr., former Apollo Mission Commander and alum of our Varsity Offshore Sailing Program. Apollo Astronaut Lieutenant General Retired Tom Stafford, Class of 52. NASA Astronaut Captain Retired Bill Shepard, Class of 1971. Other Space Shuttle astronauts who are graduates of the Naval Academy who are here today, and members of the class of 1952 and their guests who are here for their 65th reunion <coughs> today. Now, this is an opportunity for our varsity offshore sailing team to not just take you know, our 44 footers, it's to take a very special boat, a boat that was built uh, a few years ago and be able to sail in waters at speeds maybe they haven't seen before. And maybe that's how fitting it is that we're having a boat named Apollo. To have two of the four astronauts from the class of 1952, Captain James Lovell, the story commander of Apollo 13, and Lieutenant General Tom Stafford, who actually holds the record for being the fastest human ever in any medium at 24,791 miles per hour. So I'm hopeful that this is an indication that this would be one fast boat. It is now my honor to introduce Captain Retired James A. Lovell Jr., Navy pilot, NASA astronaut, Naval Academy sailing alum, and member of the Greek class of 52. First of all, what I'd like to thank are the midshipmen, because I think it was the midshipmen that made the suggestion that we take this new vessel and name it Apollo. And I think it's very appropriate for that because actually Apollo represents more than just the Apollo flights. It represents something of our space program, of what we did and that, that was so, uh, I guess, famous in those days, but so up, upheaving. And if you remember uh, 1968, when we finally flew on Apollo 8. And so, really, I think that the name Apollo on this sailing vessel really represents all of those Naval Academy graduates who got it into be astronauts. So it's another little segment that we have here at the Naval Academy. And also, I appreciate the midshipmen for inviting me to be the person to christen this wonderful vessel. Coming here tonight and being, being invited to actually christen this boat brings back old, old memories. And as I looked out into the bay, there were three nice-looking sailboats. The Van Marie, the Highland Light, the Riono. I said, my gosh, here I am. I've always wanted to sail, and there's the opportunity. But I soon found out that sailing has its privileges. And as a lowly plea, I didn't get too much of a chance to get in one of those sailboats, especially during those Sunday excursions back and forth on the Chesapeake. Then, as I heard a little bit later in the scuttlebutt uh, around the academy, that there there was another sailboat that the Academy owned. It was uh, rather uh, in uh, bad shape. It was uh, laid up over there across the Severn at what we called the experimental station at the time. The upperclassmen didn't want to bother to try to fix it, get it sailing. They had some boats of themselves. And so several of these got together and said, well, you know, during our spare time, maybe we can go over there and take a look at that. And the gathering of pleas got more and more. And finally, two uh, uh, youngsters came along. Uh, one was Ralph Hooper, and then was Marcus Settle. And they wanted to sail, too. And they got us pleas together. 
And we decided to see if we couldn't go over there and sort of repair this big sailboat. And there was a uh, lieutenant who was assigned here at this present time. His name was Frank Sierkowski, who was really the, the key man that let us go ahead and do it. We went across the Severn, saw it laid up, we got started, we, we uh, cleaned the, uh, we scraped the, uh, the bottom, uh, we varnished the woodwork, uh, we uh, started to paint the hull, uh, we looked at everything, we got the experimental station people to repair the engine, got it all set to go, and now this is going to be a plane boat. Really great. <laughs> Launched it, and pretty soon it was out there, moored out on the bay, just like those other three boats. That was a false impression. <laughs> as soon as the upper class didn't saw that, they said, my gosh, that's really great. <laughs> and on those Sunday uh, sailing cruises that you know, they were there, they would occasionally invite us along as pure, you know, line haulers. <laughs> well, I sailed on the Freedom for over four years. Every year that I could, I got <coughs> to sail as I got more and more senior. And in 1950, we took the Freedom up to uh, Newport, and we sailed her on the Newport to Bermuda Yacht Race. We were too big to actually be a contestant, but, uh, but we decided to, to try it and just sail along to see how it would work. <laughs> that was a great race. <laughs> but then my last three years at the Academy, I happened to have in Washington a girlfriend and uh, she'd come down every weekend, you know, the tea dances and the social events here. And, uh, but what she really wanted to do was to sail on the Freedom. <laughs> so on those Sunday afternoons, we'd get a bunch of mids and some had dates and some not. And we'd take the Freedom out for sailing on that afternoon. We'd get box lunches from the ship's galley or from the academy's galley. And we'd have a grand time. Well, when I graduated in 1952, <laughs> I knew that I could not take the freedom with me. But I did take one of the crewmen. There she is. <laughs> and so today, ladies and gentlemen, it's my extreme pleasure to christen our brand new boat to the Naval Academy. In gratitude to Mr. Robert Watson of New York, New York, we christen Apollo, our mighty and great ruler of the seas and oceans, to whom all ships venture upon your fast domain, implore you in your graciousness to take into your records and recollection this worthy vessel hereafter and forever time, Apollo. Started in. Yeah. Yeah. Her journey within your realm. Let it be recorded on this day, the 25th of April, 2017, and forevermore, this fine vessel is Apollo. May God bless her with fair winds, following seas, and all who sail on it. <laughs>